Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Jason. Hope you're doing well. Um, today I want to go over a fall training program for your 400 and 800 meter runners. Your long sprinter turn slash middle distance runner. Somebody may look at the 600 or the 1000 maybe or if somebody takes part in the 4x8 relay or the DMR. You know. um, particularly those who are not running cross country or not competing in cross country. They're just not on the cross country team. Um, but they still have to get ready for the fall. So it's important to get them ready as well. So I want to go over a 12-week program today, show you how to get them ready during the fall and how to kind of test their fitness along the way so that they're ready for track when it comes. <clears throat> All right? So it's a 12-week program. I have broken down into three pieces, four weeks each. Okay? And you'll see the progression throughout the, throughout the 12 weeks. And I'll go over and explain everything in full detail as well. If you want other videos like this, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, make sure you hit that notification next to it because the next one I'm going to be putting is a, the, the middle distance runners, your 800 slash milers, who are also not on the cross country team. Generally, some of them make the cross country team in, in high school, well, uh, more so in high school than uh, in college, but it's also important to still devise a training program for them so that when winter track comes or indoor track comes, they're ready to go and they've also tested themselves along the way. So you're not having to use a bunch of the season to get them race ready. So that's going to be the next video. You're not going to want to miss that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. Um, but with that, let's get to it. Okay. Week one, four miles easy. I always like to start, particularly if, if, if your athletes are in high school or college where, where the school week is kind of normal Monday through Friday. I generally like to ease them into the week with an easy day on Monday for the most part for, for virtually all my programs. Um, so four miles easy on Monday, and I do three progression 150s. What I mean by progression 150s is 50-meter float, 50-meter stride, 50-meter sprint. Each 50-meter gets a little bit faster, and you jog back nice and easy, and you go again. Times three, okay? And then strength and core on the back end. Twice a week I have strength and core, generally Mondays and Thursdays in this situation for this program. Tuesday, warm-up 1.5 miles. Sometimes it's two miles, sometimes it's a mile. I generally like to hit the 1.5 for the midpoint for the 400 and 800 group. Okay, D slash S means drills and strides, whatever the routine is, the plyometric to get them ready to kind of accelerate and run fast. And then 400 meter effort, just that tempo pace, okay? Just to get the heart rate up and get the legs ready to move a little bit faster. This is a great way of um, doing it without having to use a portion of the workout to figure out uh, paces for, to get the athletes feeling good getting their heart rate up prior to the workout is always is a good thing. So um, with that, 14 times 400, okay, 90 second recovery, 1.5 mile per run. Let's just use, uh, last number is the same, so let's just use 34 seconds in this instance, okay? So man, let's just say 39 seconds for a run, just random numbers, okay? You'll see the rhyme, the, the logic later on with that. So 14 of them with 90 second recovery. Wednesday, five miles with a brisk, just open up a little bit, 1.5 miles in the middle of the run. And remember, this is just a program to get your athletes fit, even if they run over the summer, to get them ready to start transitioning over to running fast or racing fast. Okay, You'll see a lot of consistency here. Thursday, four miles easy, core and strength. <clears throat> Friday, 1.5 miles, warm up, drills and strides. 400 meter effort at tempo again. Heart rate up, get the legs moving, then take a three minute recovery. I'm doing the same here, take a three minute recovery after the 400 meter tempo. And then six by 200 meter hill repetitions, okay? Hill reps, okay? Not a super steep hill, but a nice gradual hill. Focus on staying upright, accelerating into the hill, leaning into the hill, pumping your arms, pumping the legs, okay? You want to accelerate hard and get a little bit faster as you go on. Jog easy down recovery. Even when you're jogging down, Try to lean into the hill a little bit, be perpendicular to the hill, and, and minimize the stress of your, for your joints, particularly your Achilles. Okay? Then a 1.5 mile cool down on the back end. Saturday, 6 miles, 5 by 50 meter strides. Sunday's an off day. Every Sunday in this program will be an off day, so they're running 6 days a week. You'll see mileage days in there just to burn. We're kind of building an aerobic foundation as well for these folks to transition into more frequent, faster running later on. <clears throat> week 2. Four miles easy again on Monday. Four by 100 meter strides, jog equal recovery, core and strength, okay? And the second core and strength day here is gonna be Thursday, like I said. Tuesday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides. 
two by 200 meter efforts, okay, at 3K to 5K pace, okay, with a 200 meter jog recovery after each one, just to get the heart rate up a little bit. Um, and then we're going to go three to four times 1,000 meters with a three minute recovery at about 5K pace. Cool down to 1.5 miles. Now, before I go any further, how do we know what the 5K pace is? How do we know the 3K pace as well? For even before starting this program, <clears throat> if you or your athletes have run a good at least six to eight weeks over the summer, I would encourage you to do a one mile time trial because it helps establish your current fitness. It also helps you determine what the appropriate training paces are for you and your athletes. Okay, so you know exactly the paces to plug in for everybody to make sure that people aren't training over their heads, make sure that people aren't, are, are training hard enough. Okay, I will plug down in the description down below my one mile time trial video and then how to set the right training paces based on your one mile time trial video. Uh, based on your one mile time trial, I encourage you to watch them both. I go into full detail with everything. Don't want to miss it. So, back to it. 1.5 mile cool down. Wednesday, five miles with a brisk two miles in the middle, say miles three and four. Uh, Thursday, five miles, easy, core and strength afterward. Friday, 1.5 mile warm up, <clears throat> drills and strides. Two by 200 meter efforts, again, at tempo pace, okay? Um, jog equal recovery. And again, those path pace will be established based on a one mile time trial. And then here in this in this particular case, you're gonna go a, a three mile progression run. Let's say the pace is a mile easy, a mile steady, a mile tempo, or something like that. Uh, something of that regard. Okay, or a mile steady, mile tempo, mile 5K pace. So you build up to that point. Okay, you're gonna take a three minute active recovery in the back end, and you're gonna run one 300 meter effort fast. Okay, test the legs a little bit. 1.5 mile cool down. Saturday, six miles, okay, easy and rolling, five by uh, 50 meter strides, just to get the legs turning over a little bit. Saturday's off. Week three, mile uh, four miles easy on Monday, then we're gonna do two by 30 meter, two by 40 meter, and two by 50 meter strides, okay, for speed development, walk back equal uh, for the recovery, okay, and then core and strength. Tuesday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and stride, 400 meter effort at tempo, Take that three minute recovery, okay? 13 by 200 meters, okay? So we're cutting one rep, okay? And then, like I said before, with a 90 second recovery, do one, you average one second faster per rep than last time. So if the men average 34 for 14, they're gonna average 33 for 13, okay? If women average 38 or 39, let's just say 39, okay? For 14, they're gonna average 38 for 13. I'm gonna drop one second on average per rep, okay? That's the progression along the way. You'll see more of these. Okay, 1.5 mile cooldown. The rest should be 90 second consistent. Wednesday, six miles with two and a half or 2.5 brisk miles in the middle. Okay, brisk, I mean a little bit faster than steady pace or in between steady and tempo, not necessarily tempo. Okay, Thursday, five miles easy, core and strength afterward. Friday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and stride. 400 meter effort at tempo, get the heart rate up, get the legs moving a little bit, then you transition into after a three minute recovery. 8 by 200 meter hill repeat. So we went from 6 to 8. Same concept, same equal jog recovery on the back end. 1.5 mile cool down. Saturday, 6 miles easy and rolling. 3 uh, three by progression, 150s afterwards. So the same thing again here. 50s float, 50 stride, 50 sprint, walk back recovery or jog back. Um, off day on Sunday. Week 4. 4 miles easy Monday, core and strength. Tuesday, 1.5 mile cool down, drills and stri 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides. Uh, then we're gonna do two by 200 meter effort at, at the tempo, jog equal recovery. And then we're gonna try and do three times a mile at five, about five, well, 8K to 5K pace, okay? Um, and with a three minute recovery, you'll know the paces based on your time trial. And then on the back end, we're gonna do one 300 meter effort fast again to simulate closing hard when you're fatigued, okay? 1.5 mile cool down. Wednesday, six miles with three miles at brisk pace. Okay, let's just say miles two, three, and four. Thursday, five miles easy, core and strength. Friday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides. Two by 200 meter efforts with a jog equal recovery at tempo pace again. Okay, and then we'll do a three mile progression run. Okay, we're gonna try to run it a little faster than we ran last time. So let's say you, let's say you, let's say you did it at uh, seven minutes, 6.30 in six minutes. Let's try to start five, set five or ten seconds faster now. So instead of starting at seven, you start at six fifty or six fifty-five, and same progression. Okay. Um, so 
start a little bit faster each time if you can, or accelerate or progress a little bit more each time. Okay? Three minute recovery after the progression run, and then we're gonna do four by 100 meter efforts fast on the back end with a jog equal recovery, cool down of 1.5 miles. Saturday, six miles easy and rolling, Sunday's off, okay? So we've established an easy Monday pattern here, okay? Going, ex going hard Tuesdays and Fridays on a consistent basis, okay? We establish just a consistent schedule, or a consistent pattern. Okay, so it makes it easier to adapt into the next cycle. We've done some longer volume workouts, okay? Because remember, these folks are also building strength. Not only are they doing the 200 type stuff, which is going to really help them in the 200 and 400, but they're doing the longer reps just in case they need to hop into a 4 by 8 or they need to score points in 1,000 or, or you know, maybe they're asked one day to, they're showing good endurance and it might be a 1,200 meter leg in a VMR or something like that. You never really know. Okay? Important to address the systems here to make sure we're addressing strength and speed. Okay? So I'm going to take this one down. All right, we're going to go to the next cycle, the next four week block. Okay, you'll see some transition in here. You'll also see a lot of consistency. Okay, week five, four miles easy on Monday, three by progression, 150s afterwards. Same concept 50 float, 50 stride, 50 sprint. Okay, jog equal recovery, core and strength. Two mile, uh, 1.5 mile warm up on Tuesday, drills and strides, 400 meter at tempo. Take a three minute recovery on the back end, active recovery, then drop it down again, 12 by 1200 with a 90 second recovery. Let's average one second faster last time. So again, the men average 34 for, for 14, 33 for 13, they're gonna average 32 for 12. Same sign, the women average 39 for 14, 38 for 13, they're gonna average 37 for 12. Okay? 90 seconds recovery, constant, 1.5 mile full time. Wednesday, six miles with a hard second and fourth mile. Kind of teach you accelerating, you know, and then going back and surging and changing paces. Okay, five miles easy on Wednesday, core and strength. Friday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides, 400 meter effort at tempo with a three minute active recovery on the back end afterward. Six by 300 meter hill repeats next week. Those are a little bit longer now. Okay, um, jog equal recovery, same exact concept as before. 1.5 mile full down. Okay. Six miles easy on Saturday with uh, six by 50 meter strides afterward. Um, off day on Sunday. Constant off day. Week six, four miles easy Monday. Now we're going to do two by 100, two by 75, and two by 50 meter sprint. Full acceleration, okay, walk back recovery. Core and strength. Tuesday, 1.5 mile warm up drills and strides, two by 200 meter efforts at threshold pace. And then you're going to do six by 800 meter efforts at threshold pace with a one minute recovery in between each. The threshold is a slower pace um, than 5K pace or your interval pace, but the rest is also short as well. Okay, so um, you get a really, really good threshold time for that. It's a non invasive way of increasing volume and still recovering well and getting in a really good workout. 1.5 mile full down. Wednesday, six miles, deep progression, 150s again, jog equal recovery afterward. Thursday, five miles, easy, core and strength. Uh, Friday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides, 400 meter at tempo, okay, three minute recovery, three to four by 1,000 meter efforts, okay, with a three minute recovery, and let's say a 5K pace, okay, you can, you can work your way from current to goal 5K pace if you need to. Um, take an eight minute recovery on the back end, okay, and then we're gonna test, okay, halfway through week six, we're gonna test them so you can go. You get a 10 minute recovery, okay? They can go get their spikes if you want. We're gonna get back on the track and we're gonna run one 600 meter effort time trial, okay? Um, doing it after doing a body of workout to get them to kind of accelerating when they're fatigued. It also helps simulating um, you know, whether they, let's say they ran four by four trials a little while ago and then a little while later they're running their individual 600 meter race. This is a great way of simulating that, okay? When you have a little bit of hard running in your legs already and you'd be surprised at how well they'll run um, that 600 meter after a block of kind of slower uh, work afterward, uh, prior to it, okay? 1.5 mile warm up, cool down. Six miles easy on Saturday, Sunday off. Week seven, okay, so this, you know, you kind of know where everybody's fitness is gonna be. You know what adjustments you might need to make. Uh, Monday, four miles easy, five by 50 meter strides, core and strength. Tuesday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides, the usual, okay? Um, 400 meter effort at tempo, Take that three minute easy recovery, and then we'll go 11 by 200 meter efforts. Average one second faster again, so drop it. So we're going to 32 and 37s, 
Now we're going to 31 and 36 this. Okay. Uh, same 90 second recovery, 1.5 mile pull down. Wednesday, six miles with a hard third and fifth mile. So we're just changing the two miles where they went hard. Thursday, five miles easy, four inch strength. Okay. Friday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides. 400 meter effort at tempo. Again, get the heart rate up. Take a three minute active recovery. And an eight by 300 meter hill repeat. So we added two hills. Okay. Same concept, jog equal recovery, 1.5 mile pull down. Six miles easy on Saturday. Um, and the four by 100 meter strides afterward with a jog equal recovery. Just get the legs turning over. Sunday's off. Week eight. Four miles easy on Monday, four in strength. Okay. Tuesday. 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides, 200, 2 by 200 meter with a jog equal recovery at threshold. And we're going to do 5 by 1,000 meter efforts with a 3 minute recovery. And we're going to shoot progressing from current to qualifying distance. So I know we did it a couple weeks prior to that, but I just want to see how you're progressing with that being the meat of the workout instead of anything after that. Okay. 3 minute recovery, 1.5 mile pull down. 6 miles with a brisk 3 mile. Uh, middle three miles, third, fourth, and fifth mile at a brisk pace on Wednesday. Thursday, five miles easy, core and strength. Friday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides. Two by 200 meter efforts, okay, with a jog equal recovery at tempo, heart rate up. And then we're going to do a three mile progression run, okay? Um, and the goal is to run faster than the last three mile progression run, okay? Uh, and then we'll take a three minute recovery on the back end, and then we're going to run three by 200 meter efforts. At about 800 meter pace with a jog equal recovery, uh, 1.5 mile pull down. Six miles easy and five by 50 meter strides on Saturday, off day on Sunday. So this block you see is a little bit more aggressive workouts now and getting them ready to transition towards the last batch of the season. And we've also tested everybody's fitness, okay, to see where everybody's at, okay, which is an important thing to do, particularly if they're now racing in cross country. It's important to test them every couple of weeks, whether it be week six and 12 or week four, eight, 12. Something like that, whatever you feel is most appropriate. But it's also important to get them uh, tested and give them something to look forward to to keep them engaged in the training or keep yourself engaged in the training. Okay? Now, let's go to the last four weeks. Okay? <clears throat> the final four week block. Week nine. Okay? Four miles easy on Monday, three by 100, three by 50. Okay? With a jog equal recovery. Speed development again, core and strength. Tuesday, 1.5 mile warm up drills and strides, 400 meter effort at tempo, get the heart rate up, take a three minute recovery, then we're going to drop it down again to 10 by 200 meter efforts. Okay, so if they're running, they were running thir uh, 31 for 11, now they're going to run 30 for 10. Then we're going to run a 36 for 11, they're going to run 35 for 10. Okay, um, 90 second recovery, that's constant. Okay, this is a great strength building workout for 400 meter runners. Um, and 800 meter runners. Cool down 1.5 miles. Wednesday, six miles with a hard second and fifth mile, mixing it up again. Thursday, uh, five miles easy, four in strength. Friday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides. Two by 200 meter efforts, jog equal recovery at tempo. Okay, get the heart rate up. And eight by 150 meter hill sprint, so we've made it shorter, so we're going to attack them a little bit harder. And eight by 150 up the hill, jog equal recovery, and then we're going to do two by 150 on the back end on the flats afterward to get them turning over after they run the hill. Same jog equal recovery, the turnover, okay? Cool down to 1.5 miles. Saturday, six miles easy, six by 50 meter strides. <clears throat> Sunday off day. Week 10. Monday's four miles, four progression, 150s now with a jog equal recovery, four in strength. Tuesday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides. Two by 200 meter efforts at threshold, jog equal recovery, and then we're going to do three times a mile with a three minute recovery at about 5k pace. Okay, and then on the back end, a 200, a 150, a 100, and a 50 speed turnover, accelerate hard, walk equal recovery. Okay, get them turning over when they're already fatigued from doing the longer stuff. Cool down to 1.5 miles. Wednesday, six miles with a hard uh, sixth mile, a hard final mile. Same with a closing part at the end. Uh, Thursday, five miles easy, core and strength. Friday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides, two by 200 meter efforts at tempo pace with a jog equal recovery. Then a three mile tempo run, okay, at the tempo pace. 
three minute recovery on the back end, and one by 400 meter effort hard. Just crank that 400, okay? Simulate finishing the, um, or as best you can, simulating the last lap of an 800 meter effort. Cool down 1.5 miles. Six miles easy and rolling on Saturday, Sunday's off. Okay, now we're down two with two weeks left. Week 11, four miles on Monday, five by 50 meter strides, core and strength. Tuesday, 1.5 miles, two hours of strides, uh, 400 meter effort at tempo, get the heart rate up again, uh, three minute recovery, and now we're gonna do one last bout of 200s, nine by 200 now, so it's 29 for the men, 34 for the women, if we started and progressed from the beginning, um, that would be where they're at. And that's just an example. The starting points can be different for everybody. Just wanted to kind of give you an idea. Okay. Same 90 second recovery. Just averaging one second faster per rep every time you cut a rep. Okay. Cool down 1.5 miles. Six miles on Wednesday. <coughs> Excuse me, but we're three miles in the middle. Same third, fourth, and fifth mile. You're running a little bit faster than last time if you can. Five miles on, thir on Thursday, core and strength. Friday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides, 400 meter effort at tempo, heart rate up, three minute recovery, 10 by 150 meter hills. Now instead of eight, we're going to 10. Jog equal recovery, get that really, attack that shorter hill, okay? And then on the back end, we're going to do one 300 meter effort fast to simulate finishing hard the last 300 meters of a race when you're fatigued, okay? Cool down to 1.5 miles. Saturday, six miles, three progression 150s, jog equal recovery. Sunday's off. Week 12, down to it. Monday, four miles easy, core and strength. Tuesday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides. Two by 200 meter efforts with a jog equal recovery at threshold, okay? And then six by 800 meter efforts after that with a one minute recovery at threshold pace. Um, and then on the back end, three progression 150s, okay? Jog equal recovery afterward just to turn over. Okay, um, kept this non-invasive because of what's going to be happening in a couple days. 1.5 mile cool down after that. Warm up, um, excuse me, Wednesday, six miles at a brisk pace. Okay. Uh, Thursday, five miles easy, core and strength. And then Friday, 1.5 mile warm up drills and strides. This is where we're really going to test them. Okay. Two by 200 meter efforts with a jog equal recovery. Okay, at a tempo pace. And then we're going to um, do three by 1,000 meter efforts. With a three minute recovery at 5k pace, okay, to get the legs moving, get, get a nice little batch of workout in. Then another eight to 10 minute recovery, grab those spikes, okay, and we're gonna get on the track and we're gonna do, remember that 600 meter time trial we did on week six? We're gonna do it again now, week 12, to see how everybody's progressed from week six to 12. Um, it should be in pretty good shape, so don't be surprised if you see some pretty fast runs here. Um, and then uh, that's your time trial. And then a cool down 1.5 miles afterward. And then flush out the legs on Saturday with an easy four miler shakeout. And then Sunday's going to be off. So this is my 12 week fall program for 400, 800 meter runners is to get them ready for a win winter track. And they have a different protocol. But this is a great way of kind of getting in hard training that will help them roll right into or helps build them strength into a longer winter season, indoor track season. It also puts them in a position to be ready to run fast early on without uh, doing too much too soon, okay? Everything is gradual here for progression, for, for periodization purposes as well. And you'll see them testing along the way. Like I said, week six and 12 here, but you could do four, eight, and 12. You'll see my other program, my one mile, my 800 meter mile training program, which is going to be the next video that you're not gonna wanna miss. You'll see I test them at different intervals, okay? Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful. If you found any good information here, put them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up, okay? And again, I want to continue putting out great videos, particularly right, this is the time to figure this stuff out. Now, you, know, you generally know who your athletes are going to be in the cross country, but you never really know. You might find a diamond in the rush, but a rough, but what about the rest of the people, okay? How do they get ready for track, their, their specialty as well? This is a way to do it, all right? So I hope it was helpful. Um, with that said, um, you know, be safe out there, all right? Look out for each other. Train smart, train hard, and I'll talk to you next time.